The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Just as it was in the Garden of Eden, so it is today. He was behind the serpent, the symbol of deception. And he's still behind those who want to cause people who have come to the Lord to be driven away. He is behind them. Now let's remind ourselves as we read Genesis 3 verse 9. Last week we, I tacked on Genesis 3 I'll read verse 9, 10, and 11. Now, this is about the temptation. Now, remember that it was the serpent who was speaking. Now, the serpent is an animal. It's a reptile. So he was speaking. In fact, he was doing the temptation. If you like. But you see, later on when God came, let's listen to the discourse. But the Lord called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I I was naked. If he said, Not me that they so I hid. Not me entire. And he said, Not said, That is God said, Who told you that? When the catcher was, you were naked. Say, Would that they just? God said, who told you that? So God is looking beyond the serpent. And questioning who? And the obisa said, why? So God was not concerned about the it. Now, now, was concerned about the spirit behind. It. Since Eden, a free aid in true. Satan always seeks to turn the hearts of people after him. Now, scripture therefore cautions us to be alert and to be sober. Because our enemy, if we say the devil plows around like a rolling lion looking for someone to devour. And he does this by employing the weapon of deception. You see, deception itself is a problematic word that needs scrutiny. The word deception is very deceptive. And you have to be careful about that, just that word deception. So to deceive is to mislead by a false appearance or, or statement or falsely persuade others. Now to deceive is to change the appearance or guise of so as to conceal identity. So when we are talking about deception, it is we are talking about concealing identity. We are talking about changing appearance. We are talking about false appearance. We are, we are thinking of misleading. So when we talk about to deceive, is to conceal 
and he said would he hinder or cover up and I said will cut up so cover up the truth will cut up no crane so or actual character and I said I didn't use by putting of by a counterfeit form of appearance now what they are there in says so idea it is a no now so any and one to deceive is to misrepresent said what that that is a what the bb chair any and one to disguise one's intention said what done you will be agony any now so the person has some intention it will be what you need be but he disguise it now so or done or catastrophe so the word deception is very problematic it is not that because if one are done and casano a how on deception is satan's most powerful arsenal say a canada a your time for now could be a movie a dink as a back on because deception is not really a weapon if he said Akudie nankas eh in that dance kasa nyia akudie. It's not really a weapon in his hands. Nyia akudie kura nsem, but his very nature. Ne mum eje ni su ankasa. Let me just talk about that again. Mamen kasa abi. The reason why I'm just talking about deception, deceive is that it is not just a weapon in his hands. Na denti a make kasa fa in that dance hone se nyia akudie kura no. It is the devil's very nature. E yo bon sam nankasa ni su. He is a deceiver. On one case, or your dad for that is who he has become. Sana wababeye. Not that was not how he was created. Enye sana waborn. When God created him, he was not a deceiver. A bro yami born on one money say or dad for. But he has become a deceiver. And so wababeye or dad for. And deception, I'm saying that is not just a weapon in his hands. It is his very nature. It is nada ye kan ho asem ne enya kodie e kura ne nsem keke ne mum e ye ni su ene ne ban it was not originally like that tete no na nyesa na not ye so because it is his nature it is enam say e ye ni su ne ne ban satan cannot help but to deceive on to me nya ho hwe ji so dada see if you call him and you advise him you not he can't take wo fra ne che ne tena si tu ni fukura on there's no way to advise satan not to deceive and him and when you be fa so atu obon san for say ja na da o be because it is his nature e ye ni su ene ne ban if you like try you can see him and what the whole part friend no ko kwan che be be na tu ni fu for you for you you will listen to be na wo de no be ti okay revelation 20 Edisem eti edunu. See in Revelation chapter twenty. Edisem eti edunu. I'll just read some few verses. Making kind in some few biwoho. Now from verse one. Inti chemu edi kind. I saw an angel coming down out of heaven. Na mihu obo phobia ofi osoro wisani. Having the key to the abyss. A okra ebruna no safoa. And holding in his hand a great chain. Ene in konson konson kesie bi. He sees the dragon, this one Satan. Na ochre ochre asie no. The ancient serpent. A what that who is the devil. Ah on your bon sam no. Or Satan. Ah, on your bone, Sam. No. See one person. You see the various names. Well, who need Papa could hear who do I so no? Or Danny, Danny like that. Buka, buka. So that is a deceiver. Oh, your dad, dad for my pa. When we we say the devil, say you can't a bone someone. Devil means the supreme evil. A bone someone here. Uh, a bunny for mu my pa. The uh, okuni ni owum. Satan means the wicked one. Ena. Satan, a year or two more than four, and the Bible says, and bound him for a thousand years. Chichere no infisher apem. He threw him into the abyss. Na otu ne chini ebunu nu mu. And locked and sealed it over him. Na otu mu na oso ano for just one reason. And I'm saying to Baku Binti to keep him from deceiving the nations anymore until the thousand years were ended. Na wanko dada amaman biom kosi se infisha pem no be wie duransa. After that, he must be set free for a short while. Na so eno echi no etwa se wogya no kakra. Satan is bound. Eti wa chechire bon sam no. The purpose is to keep him from deceiving Na se enti ni se oya onko dada amanaman biom. After a thousand years. I mean, he is going to be there for a thousand years. Na obeg da in the dream be ye in fear apem. Verse 7. Let's see whether he will change. Yeah, verse 7. Besa kranadia. 
When the thousand years are over, Satan will be released from his prison. And he will go out to deceive the nations. You see, it didn't change. In the four corners of the earth, God and Magog, Gog and Magog, and to gather them from for battle. In number, they are like the sun on the seashore. Verse 10. And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur. Where the beast and the false prophet had been thrown. They will be tormented day and night forever and ever. You see, he didn't change. Until finally he landed into hell. Into the lake of fire. So the devil cannot change. Deception is his nature. The purpose is to deceive and bring many nation, people to himself. It is his most powerful weapon. But when we talk about deception, what is it? Deception is a good combination of wisdom and lies. Good combination of wisdom and lies. No that is deception. That is why sometimes he, 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 people are deceived because you look at it and it looks like this is wisdom, but behind it is lies. And they Ezekiel chapter 28. And I want us to get to Ezekiel together. And then let's pay attention to the word of God. Ezekiel 28. Yes, is a picture of Satan or Lucifer. Lucifer in Now from verse 12. Son of man, Onipaba. take up a lament concerning the king of Ty and say to him, This is what the sovereign Lord says. You were the seal of perfection. Now, this is the description of Lucifer. Where you Lucifer? In his original states. So he said, You were a seal of perfection. Was an archangel very perfect. No, a seal of perfection. Ah, That is how God created Lucifer. Lucifer. Now the next line is full of wisdom. Now Satan was created full of wisdom. And perfect in beauty. Ah. You see, if Satan is like how we 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 picture you to be, say and then that would have been okay. Inka, inka beye. <laughs> but many people, when Satan appeared, they would like to marry Satan. Perfect in beauty. Oh, So a symbol of perfection. Full of wisdom. Perfect in beauty. Now hold this one. You were in Eden. The garden of God. So now this one tells us that when God created man, Satan was also there in the garden. Every precious stone adorned you. Abodin aboina ye Carnelian, Boja, Nambo, Chrysolite, Akaratiabo, Emirate, Any Borebo, Tobas, Sikabrebo, Jasper, Apopobibre, Any Ashishabo, Ahobo, Lazuli, Instramabo, Tech Quartz, 
Your setting and mountain were made of gold. On the day you were created, they were prepared. That special person who was created and God prepared these things for him. You were anointed as a guiding cherub. For so I ordain you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked among the fiery stones. You were blameless in your ways. Have you heard it? What? Satan was one time blameless in his ways. You were blameless in your ways. From the day you were created. And the next word is till. Wickedness was found in you. And then this, verse 16 is a big one. Through your widespread trade. You were filled with violence and you sinned. Through your widespread trade, so the devil is a trader. Remember that this is coming after the fall, after sin was found in him. And that he's a trader. Very wise person who is trading. Meanwhile, he has become evil. So if he is to trade with you, it is only would he draw. I promise you, I treat you. Just a quick be answer, no, or better down. You are treating. Or better down. So remember that he is a trader. So I drove you in disgrace from the mount of God. Now me too will free on Yakupo be pollen so safe in the air. And I expel you, guardian cherub, from among the fairy stones. Now carry back or bow one who buy no. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty. And you corrupted, now listen to this, you corrupted your wisdom. Now what say Wunyansa? He corrupted his wisdom, that now is what, Satan's wisdom. Because of your splendor. So I threw you to the earth and made a spectacle of you before kings. But your many sins, by your many sins and this honest trade, you have desecrated your sanctuary. Now, so verse 16 is saying that he is a traitor. And verse 18 is saying that he is a dishonest traitor. So I made a fire come out of out from you. And it consumed you, and I reduced you to ashes. On the ground in the sight of all who were watching. All the nations who knew you are appalled at you. You have come to a horrible end and what? will be you you will be no more. What part to I say? So we are talking about somebody that God created him with such wisdom. But the Bible says that he has corrupted his wisdom. And he is a dishonest trader. Now one day when Satan appeared before God. And he wanted to tempt Job. Let's go to Job chapter 2, verse 4. Job chapter 2, verse 4. Let's listen to what he said. How he opened his address. This is when he wanted to come and tempt him the second time. Job 2, 4. Hmm. Are we together? Yeah. Now, how many of you can read? 
Yeah, so let's read. Ready, go. Skin for skin, Satan replied. Now, a man will give all he has for his own. Now, now Satan, boy, rather say, what the with the pray with the now the only power in a or the map period necra. Now, listen, there's a spirit of trading in this one, there's a spirit of trade in this one. So, skin for skin, ye a good dear whom whom be womb or say. What the we dear pray with dear skin for skin we dear what the pray with dear so skin for skin ain't he we dear what the then pray with dear says that a man will give all he has for something for something and I say only part did you win a bema I'm a baby for his own life I pray necra so now as he's going to tent Job and he brought all cause he ob Ashenon he wants Job to exchange something for something or perceive Job at the BB as a crab skin for skin. With dear Emma, with dear. So the devil is always deceiving. And he's trading. And many people have traded their Jesus for vehicles, for houses, for women, for money, and they've lost the faith. Now, if you have to go to Christ, and now, it's a freak, a fidier, and now, a ma, and now, sika, I'm a one, I'm a one, I'm a skin for skin. We dear and what they pray with dear skin for skin. We dear and what they so pray the devil will not just give you anything for not. It is upon some no on mau bibia on pehi. It is skin for skin. And yeah, we dear and what they pray with dear. He is a trader. Oh, did A dishonest one. Oh, you get the four on canoe. But a wise trader. But oh, now so nyansa or did you have a nyansa now? But I'm saying that deception is a good combination of wisdom and lies. Now the American is say. John chapter 8. Johannes Verse 44. Now, John 8 44. Hmm. This is Jesus. You belong to your father, the devil. Now, Jesus is talking to the Pharisees. You want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning. Not holding to the truth. For there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language. When the devil tells lies, it is like an Ashanti man speaking tree. And he said, Ashanti man speaking tree. He said, I mean, he doesn't struggle to speak the language. For he is a liar. If he said, oh, you are truthful. And the father of lies. And he is truthful in the age. Now, the most important thing that I want you to hold on to. He is a liar. Oh, yeah, you are truthful. He himself is a liar. On one casano or your trophy. Now, so look at somebody that he is a liar. That Jesus said he is a liar. It is she obia yes to say sanipe or your trophy. And this person is full of wisdom. Now sanipe yansu okranyansa. If you see somebody who is a liar and the person is so wise, say who she obia or your trophy na so onimyansa. You see, when God was casting the devil onto the planet, nyame eto bonsam chene asasi. Scripture never say. That he said, my friend, come, come, bring the, my wisdom and then go. Say, madam, bra, 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 fami nyansa bra, me now dey. He only said you have corrupted your wisdom. The okay, he said, what say we nyansa? He has corrupted it with lies. Or the atro ase nyansa. So he he appears with some kind of uh, wisdom, but within it is a spirit of lies. And he odani huwe dia, odani huwe di wo nyansa mu nanso e mu no aye. What we are talking about deception. We are saying that it's a good combination of wisdom and lies. It is not just a weapon in his hands. No, it is his nature. So no matter what you do to the devil, he will want to deceive. He is the thief. He does not come. But to kill, to steal, and to destroy. 
and he uses the weapon of deception so well. That is who he is. See, Satan uses various means to, to deceive people. But for the purpose of this study, I will limit myself to false teaching. As a tool he used to capture the mind. Paul admonished his son Timothy. It was one for Paul, Timothy for. Second Timothy chapter two. Timothy, from verse sixteen to to eighteen. Second Timothy two sixteen. Avoid godless chatter. Now soon say who you free Because those who indulge in it will become more and more ungodly. Now we wonga. Their teaching was spread like gangrene. Among them are Hymenius and Philetus. Who have departed from the truth. They say that the resurrection has already taken place. And they destroy the faith of some. Avoid godless chatter. Because those who indulge in it will become more and more ungodly. Their teaching will spread like gangrene among them. Himenius and Philetus. These are not names of demons. These are names of human beings. But hold that. So these are the people who kind of teach to drift people away. Who have departed from the truth. They say that the resurrection has already taken place. And they Himenius and Philetus destroyed the faith of some. Now listen, by their teaching, this deceptive teaching employed by these false brothers according to Paul Paul spreads like gangrene necrosis death of soft tissues. Now, due to destruction of circulation. So, there's no circulation. At where the attack is. And then eventually, that place decomposed. So, what that means is this. The the teaching of these brethren it is results in moral and spiritual corruption and decadence. It destroys essay and corrupts the heart of some believers. If by their teaching they destroyed the faith of some believers. Then the source of their teaching is demonic. Uh, are we together? Yeah. How do I know this? Let's go to 1 Timothy 4, verse 1. If by the teaching of some brethren, they destroy the faith of some, then the source of their teaching is from the devil. 1 Timothy 4, verse 1. The Spirit clearly says that in the latter times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. 
How many of you have gone to church and you have seen demons teaching before? It is the Hermenius and the Philitos people who teach. But the source of some teachings are from demons. Such teachings come through hypocritical liars whose consciences have been seared as with a hot iron. Are we together? Yeah. So it is clear from the above scripture that the source of this teaching is Satan. And the agent of these false teaching now, are human beings who are described as hypocritical liars. Now, one of us now so church is a new man. Oh, aye, nipa. Watch, watch, careful. Oh, say, why you atro any nyachum for? Whose conscience have been seared as with hot iron? Ah, one of whom a woo. Men and women whom Satan himself. Has taken captive. A man in Marima or Bonsam Nancasa Chiru on the Dria. Second Timothy two. Timothy who met us in unity from verse twenty three. Timothy who met us in unity. It's in unity. Chibo do no me answer. Don't have anything to do with four foolish and stupid arguments. Now, in Kasiach in Yijia. Because you know that they produce quarrels. And the law servant must not be quarrelsome. But must be kind to everyone. Able to teach. Not resentful. Opponents must be gently instructed. In the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth. Now let's pay attention to verse 26. And that they will come to their senses. Now when you at it and escape from the trap of the devil who has taken them captive to do his will. So this Herminius and Philetus, these hypocritical liars, the source of their teaching is demonic. And the Bible says that just yes, because the devil has taken them captive to do his will. Brothers, the target of these teachings of demons is the nations and the future world. When we are talking about homosexuality and all that, today we are hearing that America says that if you sanction whoever does not accept gayism, and this is a preacher. Now, you say America say or the song beto a man biara wamo ng sankrofu intumbio. What he has just said, this president has just said. You may think that it is just a statement. But he is a preacher. And if we don't take it to spread like gangrene. The target is the nations. See, the man was not talking about community. He's talking about nations. And the future world. We are seeing that. That is why the devil, through authorities, will try and then get young people to educate them and then consume their mind and with this that. gayism, so that they, they they will take the future world. And not in a Brothers, kingdoms grow. 
Adofonum ahinia nyini as they capture more territories. Bra wo pe wo je ni baby baby ka won ho. That is why scripture says that their teachings spread like gangrene. Anything that chro ne say won chre chre no again tre ha say yare bone. In this instant the target is the minds of humans. Now what I say me no won adwene pa ne say wo be chre ni pa adwene. And the mind has always been the battleground. Because that is where transformation begins. The more minds the enemy captures, the stronger his kingdom becomes. And this, their teaching spreads. And we need to prevent these teachings from spreading. Jesus cautioned the disciples to be careful of the teachings of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Which he likened to the spreading effect of yeast introduced into a flower. And I order to to a more kahua a to me a tretre a wo a samu. Are we together? <laughs> I'm sure Joe Biden will be listening to me. But my GD pass, American penny, I'm my penny to you. You'll be listening to me. Oh, but you're my pal. We need to find a way of stopping it. But my agenda is not just on the gayism and homosexuality. It is all about the, the deceptive teachings of the enemy. We need to stop it. Matthew 16. From verse 5. When they went across the lake, the disciples forgot to take bread. Now, as you have found Drew, as you have no one, now if he said, or be far pano. Be careful, Jesus said to them. Now, yes, you see one say, Be on your guard against yeast. Of the Pharisees and Sadducees. They discussed this among themselves and said, It is because we didn't bring any bread. Aware of their discussion, Jesus asked, You of little faith, why are you talking among yourselves about having no bread? Do you still not understand? Don't you remember the five loaves for the five thousand and how many baskets full you gathered? Or the seven loaves for the four thousand and how many baskets fulls you gathered? So he was not talking about bread. How is it? How is it you don't understand that I was not talking to you about bread? But be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then they understood that he was not telling them to guard against then they understood that he was not telling them to guard against the yeast used in bread. But against the teaching of the Pharisees and Sadducees. And now, who say one can say one here one who ye pan no more reckon? Name on Pharisee for this are the key for non church. Jesus said, The kingdom of God is like somebody who introduced yeast into a flower. Naturally, say, Oh, you are coping in the end, it is so beer or demoreca echo a sum. Now, the yeast will work itself through the out the door. Now, um, that is it will spread so Jesus is saying that be careful of the teachings of the Pharisees and the Sadducees because it has potential to spread Jesus said 
we have to stop the spreading. With good teachings of the word of God. We have to arise and study. So that as people come to church. We get them grounded by the word of God. So that the devil do not wish them away. I pray that today God will open your eyes of understanding. So that we are careful with the deceptive teachings of the enemy. So, so that when people come to us, come to church. When souls are won, let us set boundaries for them with good teachings. Let us fill their minds with good teachings of the word of God. So the devil cannot deceive. Them. He's out there to deceive. That is his nature. Nothing stops him. And he's a trader. A very dishonest one. But he always give you something. For what he takes from you. It is skin for skin. That is how he trades. But brothers. We have something that is so precious. What he has lost. We have gained. But he wants, he wants to deceive us. So that we will become like him. Let us hold fast to what we have believed. So that we don't drift away from it. Let us hold fast. To the Jesus that we have received.